Hey guys, so today, thanks phone, I'm going to be walking you through a vent window replacement on my 96 Toyota Camry. Um, the tools that you will need are just a flathead and a Phillips head screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket. I got my new window from Pick and Pull, so I did this job twice. Uh, <laughs> um, and I guess it was easier the second time, but yeah, so... Uh, First things first, you're going to want to make sure you roll down your window. I had to do this for two reasons. One, because you're going to need to roll it down to move that regulator um, that's attached to the pole that divides the windows. Um, and two, well, because of the way that I taped mine up, like, I taped it all the way around. Because this, like, honestly, guys, this wasn't the first tape job. I had taped it up five. I, mean, I don't even know how many times I taped it up because it happened like the first time I taped it up and then I locked the keys in the car again. So I had to cut through the tape and it was a hassle. Um, But yeah, so at one point I was just like, you know what, this is going to be a permanent fix or semi-permanent fix um, for a good minute. So I taped it all the way around, but I was still able to roll up my window and everything. Um, So yeah. So you just want to make sure you get all your tape out of there. Then you get pull that weather stripping out of it. Mine had a lot of glass, so be careful. Um, yours might still have glass in it too. And then you pull the weather stripping down from the main window. And there's a little screw that's holding that um, regulator and pole mixture together. I guess they would both technically be like a regulator. It's just like an extension of the regulator. Um, yeah, and... Well, funny story, <laughs> because when I was going to get the window, phone, come on, oh, that, that's me, right, let's turn it off, okay, when I was going to get the window, I was struggling so bad because I didn't know that there was a screw right there, but after I found out, um, it was much easier, and of course, there's more tape, um, yeah. Hopefully you don't have this much tape, because honestly, like, I think it just messed up my paint and everything, and it's tragic, tragic. I'm sorry, Cam. Everybody shed a tear. <laughs> um, but yes, you see, I did this with a um, Phillips head. I popped that little cap off, but um, probably be a lot easier with this with the flat head. But eh, I mean, you know. Either way to get the job done. And um, you're going to take out the screw. And actually, I'm trying to think, did it actually come all the way out or did it sit in the door? Uh, I can't remember. I believe this screw came all the way out. And I think the, the second screw um, stayed in the door. I think. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Unscrew them. <laughs> um, then, if I, you know, could get my crappy camera skills. It's so hard sometimes, certain repairs that you do, you try to record, um, get, like, close-ups and do the repair. And sometimes you can, and sometimes it's, it's kind of trash. So, just work with me. I mean, work with me. Bear with me. Um. And we will get through this. There's a clip right underneath your uh, window button switch. Okay, so I definitely broke my handle. Like, I have to go and get another one. I, I mean, I don't know. If somebody knows the trick, please leave it in the comments. Just, yeah, and actually I should put a full disclaimer in the beginning. None of this is supposed to be telling you how to professionally do these things. These are how I do my car repairs and do your car repair at your own risk. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then I just pop the door off. There are these clips. You'll see them at the end. I didn't realize what they were in the beginning. Um, but there are clips on the sides that you, I'm not sure how to remove them actually. But I'll show you how to put them back in, which is great, right? Okay. <laughs> so, um, the regulator is just held on by two 10 millimeter bolts. 
So I got my socket and ratchet and got those out. Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. And actually, if you saw, like, the little plastic, like, dust cover thing wasn't even on there because I've, um, I, was it this door? It, uh, I'm not sure. It may have been, may not have been, um, but, like, I've replaced window motors and things like that. So it's, it doesn't even have that little tacky, sticky stuff it's supposed to have. And so it's just kind of hanging there. Anyways, this took a little bit of maneuvering to get it off the window. Uh, I just kind of got to shimmy it out, I guess. Um, but I didn't, did I take it all the way out? I'm not sure if I took it all the way out. Um, I guess we will find out. <laughs> and, yeah, <clears throat> you're just going to get enough room to put the new window in. And I did, like, I was actually scared of doing this because I put the camera on the car mirror. And I was afraid that by me shaking the car and stuff and trying to jimmy that window in and everything, I was afraid that I was going to drop my camera. But it's actually pretty stable. And I'm thankful. And, you know, if you guys want to donate, um, I put, like, my PayPal link in the description to help me get a tripod, you know. Because I think that most real YouTubers have a tripod. I mean, I, mean, I think, you know, you just, you just need it. It comes in handy. But, um, yeah, so, it just pretty much fit right in. Um, yes, if you are wondering, I did. I did put that weather stripping on without putting the screw in. But you'll see, I will get to that screw in just a minute. You're going to want to make sure that you line that regulator up because I slid it in the first time and I go to put the screw in and I'm like, oh, where, where's the hole? And it wasn't there. Like it was behind the paneling. And so I had to lift it up, move it around and um, get it in line with the window and with the two bolt holes um, so I could screw those in. And yeah, look how dingy that little plastic is. It might have been that color on the side. I really don't remember, but it looks dingy now and dusty. Oh, yeah, you know, don't mind my, my puffy ponytail either. <laughs> it was so hot. I did this um, when we were having that heat streak. It was like 105 or something. I don't know, but if you can tell my hand looks really shiny, that's sweat. I'm, I'm not just shining bright with with melanin that is sweat i was soaking wet um yeah but sometimes when you like get your mind to do something then you just do it so i just did it just like that <laughs> and you're gonna want to tighten those up i i'm not sure if they can be over tightened um obviously i guess that's something to worry about uh, I just get them till they feel pretty tight, like they're not going to fall out. Don't you guys love my color-coded sockets? I love them so much sometimes. Uh, so, yeah, you're going to want to turn your car to the on position and just hook the switch back up just to make sure that you did get that regulator um, in place good and just test the window out. And then you can begin to put everything back in order. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 it doesn't want to go. One more time. One more. One more, we try again. Oh, mm. staying enough. And um, yeah, so everything is just kind of like obviously in reverse order. You just slide the door. It it slides down first, like into the window, and then you put 
with the latch in. And these are the little clips. See, I didn't know how to take them out. I don't know how I got them out, actually. I think I just broke them. I know I broke this one. Um, and you're going to see that there's actually one missing. I just, I can't, oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> but the door stays on, so. Yeah, there is the one that I lost. And there is my tragic door handle that is gone. Like, oh my gosh. So upset. So hurt. Okay, so yeah, the top screw uh closest to the window button did come all the way out the bottom screw <laughs> the bottom screw i left it in the door um i believe and that thing was so hot like i said before it was like 105 degrees and anything that was in the sun for like more than five seconds was just burning the mess out of me like everything was so hot it was so crazy let's see let me some type of sound effects but the reason why I didn't keep the sound from the uh, original, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, the reason why I didn't keep the sound from the original video is because I was playing the radio and I didn't want them to say anything about copyright issues or anything like that. Um, so yeah. There, told you I was gonna get to it. I got to the screw. I remembered. I remembered. And yeah, you just screw it back in, and then just make sure you get that weather stripping back in place. It um, I mean, it just has like a perfect little seat where it sits, and you just gotta make sure you push it in good. Like, honestly, these are some of the best cars to work on. They make a lot of these repairs really simple. Most things have a place um, where they fit in perfectly. Not a whole lot of guesswork. Um, yeah. And, well, here you're going to see. I roll it up. And obviously my weather stripping has, you know, warped some. So I get in there and try to dig it out. Then I get to the side, and I'm like, the, the, this thing is full of tape still. After all that peeling and peeling, still full of tape. So I uh, take my screwdriver and just dig it all out of there, basically. It wasn't fun and honestly I feel like there I wish um that there was a way to hold back weather stripping and I guess honestly thinking about it now I could have taken the flathead and possibly kind of like rolled up the window slowly and no I wouldn't have been able to do that and record but it would have been nice though right if I could just shimmy the uh screwdriver in there as I rolled up the window. I guess maybe that would help if I had a second person um, or at least someone to hold the camera. But even if I had them to hold the camera, I would still have a hard time rolling up the window. And yeah, it doesn't matter. That's not the point. Besides the point, the point is um, yours might not be this bad because you probably didn't have yours taped up the way that I had mine taped up. So it probably. Um, have a little bit easier time and yeah I had to switch screwdrivers because I realized I still had the Phillips head and it wasn't doing what I needed it to do at all
and there's my mailman, like, well, it's a male lady, and she's one of the best male ladies ever. Shout outs to her. If for some reason she's watching this video and just kind of knows, even though she probably won't know, because how would she know unless she, like, saw me out there? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, but just get your stripping out, and that's it. The, the repair is done um yeah so if you guys have any questions leave me a comment below if you found this helpful go ahead and give me a thumbs up share this video uh it's pretty similar for a lot of cars uh, let's see like subscribe share uh, yeah that's that's everything ring the notification bell if you would like to um, bye these are the fails. <laughs> At least my camera didn't fall.